Hi there. For this video, we are tasked to find all the real numbers x such that this equation will hold. So to solve this, first, when will this equation even hold? The first case is case 1. If this one out here is equal to 1. So that will happen if x minus 1 is equal to 1. And this would give us x equals 2. Now note that the reason behind this is that when we, when we raise 1 to any exponent, whether that is negative or positive, the answer is still or the outcome is still 1. So that is our first outcome or first value of x. Next, let's have case 2. So when will this equation or this expression be equal to 1? Mm. The second time that it would be equal to 1 if the exponent is equal to 0. But take note that this must not be equal to 0 since 0 raised to 0 is um, undefined or does not exist. It should be um, any number raised to 0. So, wherein this n is not equal to 0. So, that is the second case. So, oops. So, to write that one out formally, we have 8x squared minus 6x minus 9 is equal to 0 and x minus 1 is not equal to 0, which is simply x is not equal to 1. So x cannot be equal to 1 in this case. So if we get 1 upon solving this quadratic equation, we can consider that as a possible value of x. So continuing, Note that we can factor this one as 4x plus 3 times 2x minus 3. So you can verify that one by multiplying this binomials back again. So this implies that either 4x plus 3 is equal to 0 or 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. So solving for x in this cases or this expressions or equations, we have we can first track 3 both sides. Here we add 3 both sides. So we will have 4x is equal to negative 3 and 2x is equal to 3. So dividing or multiplying 1 over 4 both sides, here 1 half both sides, we obtain x is equal to negative 3 over 4 and x is equal to um, 3 over 2. We know that these are valid values of x since they are not equal to 1. Since again, if they are equal to 1 out here, then this expression becomes 0 raised to 0, which is invalid or undefined or does not exist. So we have found three possible values of x. Now, there, there, is there more cases or more values, values of x than this? 
Well, the answer is not since we have already um, exercised or we have already checked on all possible values, which is either this is equal to 1 or this one is equal to 0. And so we can conclude now that the all, all real numbers x that satisfy the equation is x equals 2, x equals negative 3 over 4, and x equals 3 over 3. And that is the answer for this problem. So the key in solving this problem is thinking when will this expression out here be equal to 1. By our knowledge or on um, exponents, we know that as long as this is 1, any exponent would still yield to 1. And when this is 0, such that this one out here is not equal to 0, we know that any number raised to 0 will be equal to 1. So given those two concepts, we were able to apply it on this equation and some quadratic equation out here, some factoring. We were able to obtain three possible values of x. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to comment down below any comments, suggestions, or clarifications in this one. And if you have your own solution to this one, please share it also, since that will help most of our viewers out here. And yeah, that's basically it. And that's all for this video.